This mundane house mouse may hold clues to when and how humans first started farming. The question is, did people first settle down, you know, become sedentary, and then later start farming, or was farming the catalyst that made people stay in one place? So was it hunter-gatherer, sedentism, and then farming, or hunter-gatherer, farming, and then sedentism? To figure this out, researchers looked at the distribution of fossilized mouse teeth from wild mice and house mice. They wanted to know when house mice began dominating their wild cousins, suggesting the house mice were living close to humans who had been there for a while, enjoying their shelters and leftovers. According to their results, the house mouse formed a beneficial relationship with people 15,000 years ago. This was before farming, so that means people were hunting and gathering in one place, long enough for house mice to form a relationship with them and outcompete their wild cousins in the same location. So in this case, it looks like it was hunter-gatherer, sedentism, farming. Not hunter-gatherer, farming, then sedentism. As a side note, it's possible that this is why you don't see hunter-gatherers domesticating cats until after they transition to farming. Before there was grain for them to poach, the mice weren't considered pests, so no need to keep kitties around to control them. So looking at mouse teeth in different locations may give us new insights into how this transition to farming happened around the world.